to another video guys I decided to purchase another motherboard for my Xeon 5650 this is the Asus uh, Rampage 2 Extreme it has uh, two biases uh, it's designed for the Republic of the Gamers and uh, as you can probably tell this motherboard is again faulty uh, in here if you focus uh, we do have the toggle confirm select uh, reset and start I never had the chance to try it out this motherboard I know that it has uh, a lot of features especially for the overclocking which I was telling you about in my uh, in my previous video about the Xeon 5650 it doesn't have any scratch or burnt uh, resistor on it or something uh, like SMDs or anything like that compared to, to my uh, motherboard the P60 Deluxe uh, this, this one sorry in fully working condition this one this phases the problem is uh, when you try to turn on the motherboard, uh, it will not it will start first time, uh, but afterwards uh, it will uh, when it's try to booting up, is not uh, going to show the display on the monitor. So I'm going to make a demonstration. I'm just I'm using my power supply, the 1,250 watts. Let's try. I did populate the dual channel memory I believe this one is for the triple channel the blue ones we do we do not have the image also try the other wise the third and the second and also moved the video card from the PCI Express 1 to PCI Express 2 and lastly for the third PCI Express. Uh, one of the clip is broken right here. I did try resetting the BIOS. It has, uh, since it has uh, two, two BIOSes right here, let's try focusing right here. We do see the, this one is for the keep the BIOS and uh, if you move to the two three pin it will reset the uh, it will uh, reset the bias. I believe this problem uh, with this motherboard is again bias the two bias chips the main bias and the B bias. The nut bridge is getting hot. I can feel it when you're touching it. Now the other parts doesn't seem to have uh, any issue. The super I/O from here seems fine in my opinion the two marvel chips right here the next uh, would be to go to the engineer and uh, try to fix it up but uh, in my opinion i believe there are the the two bio chips are faulty otherwise i don't see any issue so far Okay, so see you around uh, when I'll be repairing this uh, motherboard and uh, I will keep you posted about the issue that I'm having. Thank you so much for watching guys.